Hello, Wolfpack. People need to be waking up uh, and looking at how important this weekly close actually is, because this weekly close actually coincides with the three-day candle close, both of which are extremely important charts at the current moment on Bitcoin, uh, exceptionally important uh, for the state of the market in terms of whether we will be seeing a bounce from this region or a drop straight through to lower prices. I think that a lot of people have their eyes on a bounce from this region, including myself. Okay, I think that a bounce from this region is likely. However, I think that the next 20 hours, which is when the weekly close candle and the three-day candle will be closing, will be telling as to whether we will actually fall straight through and look for support lower in the 30k region or bounce right now from this region up to the 48k to 53k region. So this is a very, 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 very uh, important 20 hour, uh, you know, 20 hours or 24 hour uh, period. And we need to be looking at the charts right now to see what's going on. First and foremost, let's take a look at the daily chart. Uh, I have a lot up on the screen right now and um, I'll explain to you what everything is in a second, but I'll start by deleting uh, a lot of the unnecessary stuff. And we'll just take a look first and foremost uh, at the stochastic RSI, the MACD and the RSI. Right. What we can see in the RSI, which is not very good for uh, Bitcoin, is we've actually lost the bullish divergence we were forming. Right. We were forming a bullish divergence around here. We lost that. Right. In a, in a, in a deep drop down, and we've actually lost the bullish divergence. Uh, we've come down, and now the RSI is neutral, but it's in an undervalued territory, so it's still technically bullish. Uh, the as for the MACD, the MACD is prime for a MACD cross, and the histogram has just started inverting. Uh, hence, you know, we're heading towards a bullish cross in that in that regard, but we're still a long way away. Uh, the stochastic RSI. Uh, is bottomed out. However, it is worth noting that the stochastic RSI was also bottomed out here uh, in mid January, in mid December, and we still continue to drop. So, look in terms of uh, the oscillators down there, uh, a bit of mixed signals, but generally they are bullish, and that would uh, kind of suggest a bounce off this region right now. We are in major support uh, between 40k and 43k. Uh, the volume profile, I explained this in yesterday's video of Mega Whale. Uh, is in a crevice, okay, we're in a crevice on the volume profile, which would suggest, right, you can see the crevice here, that we are coming into uh, a potential spot of reversal, right, I like to think of it like mountains, I'll keep saying it every single video, the volume profile, I like to think of it like mountains, when you're in a crevice like we are now, it's harder to run up, it's harder to run down, and since we're on support, we'd favor an upside run up right now, uh, and that would form this massive head and shoulders pattern, right, uh, if we saw that, I don't think at this point in the market, there is any chance of a bullish reversal, on a longer term scale. I think that this bull market is over. I think we're heading into a bear market right now uh, on Bitcoin. However, I think that people need to change their definition of a bear market, right? A bear market doesn't mean three years, okay? It could very well mean six months, all right? Uh, or, or at least a bearish phase in the market like we saw uh, from May to July. Uh, the similarities of which are undeniable, okay? If we take a fractal from that point, uh, we can see that, you know, undeniable similarities. Let's just take a fractal right now and we'll bring it over. And we can see the, these two moves look identical so far. And so it is very likely that we could be seeing uh, another major July region in which we do something like this on the 40k support, bounce around for a little bit. And that would suggest that a breakout is coming in, in early February, late January uh, to the upside. Uh, however, even that scenario doesn't suggest that we need to go to new all-time highs. It just suggests that we will be seeing a bounce, right? And that bounce will be a dead cap bounce in my personal opinion. Uh, however, yeah, we are undeniably in, in a region similar to that. Uh, as for the weekly chart, which is the most important part of this video, right? Uh, we're seeing on the weekly chart that Bitcoin uh, is on the major level of support on the weekly chart. What we can notice about the weekly chart is that this area of support is very, very, very crucial uh, for, for the state of the market, right? Every time we wick into it, we continue uh, in the direction in which we came from, right? So we wicked into it and we rejected. So we, we reject every time we wicked into it, wicked into it, rejected to the upside, wicked into it. Uh, and then we ended up dropping through, wick into it, rejected, kept going down, right? Wick into it, rejected, kept going up wicked into it, kept going up again, wicked into it, kept going up briefly. And now we are at a point in which if we close within this green box, right? So if we close below 42.5K, we will have actually closed within it. And last time we did that, the last time we closed within it, we continued through it, right? So usually with this green box, this support box, it's happened on multiple occasions that I just pointed out, it might be quite complicated to understand. I'll just explain it to you verbally, okay? If we close the weekly candle between 40K and 42.5K, it is very likely that we will see a continued drop below that support zone into the 30K region. If we close above 42.5K, it is very likely that we will see a bounce, right? Because every time we reject off of it, we continue to the upside, right? The bounce won't go that high though. The, the bounce will take us to a maximum of 53K, which is the height of this last shoulder here, right? This left shoulder uh, topped out at 53K. So if we close above 42.5K, there is a decent probability that we will bounce up 
and that will bounce will probably take us between 48k and 53k. Now, 48k comes from this major resistance at 48k. We have this blue line and also the POC in the same region. Uh, and 53k comes from the, the height of the left shoulder. If we break above 53k, right, that would be a sign that uh, I've been wrong and uh, a bullish continuation will be happening, right? So if we break above 53K, that is our kind of invalidation point. Uh, we are basically scheduled for new all-time highs. 53K is the critical breaker on Bitcoin. So long as we are below 53K, we're in very bearish market territory. Uh, and the next target, if we are below 53K, as long as we are below 53K, the next logical target is the 200-week SMA, which is this green line, okay? Let me explain that again, very simply. Okay, this is... Uh, this is basic TA, right? This isn't my opinion. This is just how it is, right? We've lost all of our critical supports, okay? So long as we are uh, below 53k, right, in this market, the next logical target we should be looking at is the 200-week SMA, this green line. If we are above 53k, we should be looking at all-time highs. It's very straightforward. That's my personal opinion, but that's what I see to be objective analysis at this point. Um, also very important, the three-day chart, and I talked about that before, the three-day chart uh, is 20 hours into a close right now as well. And what we can see on the three-day chart that is that if we close below 42.5k, we will be losing this two, almost three year long RSI uptrend, right? So we need to be closing above 42.5k on the next daily candle close, which would be the weekly close and the three day close, right? If we lose, uh, if we close below 42.5k on this next daily candle close, we'll lose that three day RSI uptrend that we've had for almost three years. And we will close within the screen box, which would indicate further downside movement into the 30k region. So this is a very, very, very critical daily close coming up uh, for the next 20 hours. Uh, and so we will definitely be keeping an eye on Bitcoin and doing an update video tomorrow uh, to kind of look at what happened and, and look at the next moves forward. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Keep an eye on this daily candle close and I'll catch you in the next one.